I, I've been asked to come down here and speak with you because, well, somebody uh, in Washington thought they heard you might be a little reluctant to cooperate with our men down here. Excuse me for one second. Maybe I could save you some of your valuable time. Okay. Like I told your buddies here, me and my two friends robbed the bank. We did it and we buried the money and I ain't ever gonna tell you where and you sure as hell ain't ever gonna find it on your own. So why don't you just lock me up and forget all about this whole thing? You'll be doing everybody a favor. They tell me, Joe, that uh, you don't have any record at all. In fact, there's every indication that you've been a law-abiding, productive member of your community since, well, let's face it, since a long time before I learned how to walk. This along with the fact that this whole incident has become a widely publicized social issue, has helped for a lot of forces, including ourselves, to rally to your support. But, Joe, you're gonna have to meet us halfway on this. Now, I can't promise you, but if you can show us that you've changed your attitude, I think there's every indication that you'll be able to walk away from this whole mess, and I mean scot-free. Got an extra piece of gum? So, what do you say, Joe? Hmm? I say, why don't you get the hell out of here? You give me a headache. Thanks for the gum. 